Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Do you want to transform your ordinary images to moving masterpieces? Well, we've got you covered. So let's not waste time and just dive right into it. And the tool's name is Photo Vibrance. And this is their website where you can see that there's new technical uh, skills are required to make uh, moving pictures. And if you go down here, you can see some examples that they've done also some uh, before and after uh, photo vibrance effects here you can see and to download it you will simply need to go to this web page and uh, download it either for your mac or windows and then sign up and start working so here is our dashboard and uh, here in this sidebar you can see that you can choose from their stock images uh, to have some inspiration here, plenty of library here. You can also uh, watch their tutorials to guide you through the uh, whole creation process and also get some support. So let's now browse an image to create and transform it. Uh, I will choose this eye image and here you've got two options at a magic motion and parallax uh, so I will go with the uh, um, magic motion uh, click on select and here you can choose the resolution either you want it to be vertical square etc you can also customize it if you do not find these others uh, like uh, suitable and now let's go next so these are the main tools that we will work with here and here. Uh, you can add text and images to your image, some effects like here, some shapes, uh, again, uh, change the size if you want. So these are the main tools that we will work uh, on this image today. Um, so we have arrows and anchors here. Uh, anchors like let you protect the area that you do not want uh, to move, for example. And we've got two options here, single and path. Uh, and now let's see how they work. With single, you only put like dots like this. Uh, and with path, you can uh, do it uh, like this. And if your image is smooth, then you you better go with this one if not then the single ones uh, work better so uh, let's get started with the single and now we will need to um, uh, protect the area that we do not want to move so in this case it is this part I want to move it like this so I will just protect the outside area After finishing let's now go to the arrows so these arrows will help you choose like the direction that you want your image to move forward with and if we got two options again single and path let's see how it works with single you can draw only one arrow and with path you can do it like this you can draw a circle and we, there will be like many arrows there so we will choose the path and we'll draw a circle like this inside our eye and here you can see it appeared like this so uh let's click play and see how it works we can choose the speed here i'll just make it a bit faster and here you can see how it beautifully works here and now let's browse another image i will choose this ball in the uh, volley and i will choose the 3d parallax um, so I will stick to this and we'll go next, but again, you can customize it. So we will need to cut our object for this. Um, so we are for this choosing cut new object. And once we click on it, you will just need to simply like connect the stones together. And uh, so we've cut our object and now we are uh, going to click on uh, next. And here you can see that it completely went black. And now we will need to start cloning because if we want our picture to move, then we will need this black one to be similar to our background image. So for this, we are clicking start cloning and here you can uh, customize uh, the radius the hardness the opacity and i will just uh change a little bit the radius 
and now let's start cloning for this uh, you will need to uh, push control and then uh, just start cloning it here Mm -hmm. Pretty similar to our background and afterwards we are clicking um, stop cloning and going to click on next. So uh, for this we will need to choose our keyframes and the way we want our object to move. So uh, for this uh, we are clicking at keyframe. Uh, and now we are choosing the way we want our object to move. So I uh, want my object to move like this. So I would just, yeah, push it up. Uh-huh, and you can here change the uh, keyframe position and choose the length. Uh, and now let's play and see how it works. And it's pretty good. And, and from this sidebar, you can choose the way you want your object to move. Uh, linear, sign, uh, back, elastic, uh, bumping. And now let's click play and amazing. That's it about our quick tour on Photo Vibrance. And if you've still got any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.